you know, train drivers are on 59,000, uh, some train drivers, 20% of train drivers are on 70,000 pounds. Fine, they, they want to go, they want to go on strike. Mm. Uh, no, their union leaders do. Even Larry the Cat knows this isn't a train driver's dispute. RMT have made clear this dispute is not about train drivers. Most of those belong to a different union. This is for signalers, cleaners and many others, members who are not high earners. Train guards earn between 23 and 36,000 pounds. Track maintenance staff between 16 and 34,000 pounds. To put that into context, medium pay for all employees in the UK was closer to 26,000 pounds last year. And here's RMT General Secretary Mick Lynch. Our members, most of them have not had a pay rise for two or three years now. They were subject to the public sector pay freeze yeah. and have had nothing. And our members are struggling and most of our people in this dispute are on salaries between 25 and £30,000 a year for shift work round the clock, seven days a week, out on the track, all weathers. And just to... It gets better. What is the current offer from the government on pay for those not affected by those changes? They've offered us 2% and there's a further 1% available if we accept all of the redundancies. So the 1% is, is linked the to the so-called modernisation? It's what's called a conditional offer. Right. The condition is you can have 1% extra if you accept the entire agenda of change that they want to put through. But they're even saying the 2% is conditional on that as well. Imagine the shock for the Prime Minister when he finds out this isn't a train driver's dispute. Inflation has already passed 9% and will likely hit 11% in the autumn.